see if I can't bust a quick U-turn. That's a nice one. Oh, blue stop sign, I'm sorry. on the bike it's been a little bit guys this will be the first test on whether or not this brake reservoir works all right we're not doing this not only are we in a rush to make it to the coffee shop before it closes in traditional florida style we're trying to beat the rain now it is going to probably rain on us and i am not ready for that <laughs> i have no rain gear all my camera equipment is not waterproof but like i was saying i'm super excited to be trying out this reservoir if you guys haven't checked this out definitely go check it out it's really cool i think it's a very creative uh, solution to having the traditional style of brake reservoir on your handlebars so as you probably noticed since you clicked on the video today is not going to be the video that i intended to do this week i got caught up with a lot of things my birthday's coming this weekend actually uh when you guys watch this my birthday will have been yesterday and on top of that i had the fantastic opportunity to be able to edit for stunt news now, if you guys don't know who Stunt News is, I'm honestly kind of surprised. Let's wheelie over this. Woo, got a little bit of air at the end there. Either way, guys, yeah, uh, Stunt News covers exactly what it sounds like, stunting. You guys think I can make this gap? I'm going to do it regardless. I don't care what you think. sent me over an hour's worth of footage from ROC. ROC is right of the century. I think they didn't do ROTC because it sounds like you're going to be in the military. It's crazy every year. Literally, it's insane every single year. Always excited to see those clips. And this year, I got the unique opportunity to be able to edit through footage that Stunt News filmed while on the ride. He was able to be in the front of the pack. So I had the opportunity to edit through footage of Seabear, Brian636, Junkyard Kenny, I think, was there for a little bit. And just a lot of the big names in the stunt community. It was a very cool opportunity and I did not want to pass up on it even though I was very busy this week I made time to do it not only was it a really cool opportunity the guy is super awesome in this industry of editing it's difficult to find people who are I don't know I don't know how to explain it I've I've worked for some very annoying or rude clients and stunt news has been neither of those things he literally just sends me the clips and tells me to do my thing and so I appreciate that I appreciate creative control over my edits. Not that I mind at all doing work for people who have a specific thing in mind. Um, I just find it more, I don't know what the word is, fulfilling to be able to have creative control over where the edit goes and the pace of it and, and just all of that. That being said, last week's video, I promised you guys that the next part we would be installing on this bike, probably one of the final parts, is a tuner. My bike's deceleration pops are out of control and I honestly don't think it's good for the engine. Actually, I know it's not good for the engine. So a tuner is like super high up on my list of things that I need to get done. Plus, more power, baby. I'm trying to get some power out of this thing. Either way, I went off on a tangent again. My goodness, I cannot stay focused. Definitely go check out last week's episode. Uh, I talk about it a little bit in that. But Forrest got sick, wasn't able to do it the week that I wanted to do it, which is totally fine. He's actually doing me a massive favor, so it's really on his time. Then this week, I had a ton of stuff come up with school, personal things, and editing, and it just didn't happen. I'm going to have to push that video back to next week or maybe the week afterwards. And I apologize, guys, but the name of the channel is Tardy Productions. So in traditional Tardy Productions fashion, it's going to be late. Today, we are going over to a coffee shop by the name of Southern Grounds. Now, to my knowledge, Southern Grounds only has one location, the location that we'll be going to. This is in downtown St. Cloud. And the cool thing about Southern Grounds, besides their coffee and their location, is the fact that they share a building. It's split right down the middle with a hair salon. So no, I'm not going to be getting my hair done, although I probably need it. It is a very interesting little tiny coffee shop. The outside is very aesthetic, but they close at 4 p.m. and right now it is probably 3.45. So we're gonna rush over there really fast, get some coffee, and do a quick review. If you guys are new to the channel, my name is Aaron, and as the title sounds, or implies, rather, on Coffee Runs, we go to coffee shops and we quite literally just get coffee. And we review the place to let you know what places you should go to and which ones you should avoid. Now, we haven't found a coffee shop that's been terrible yet, but there have definitely been a few coffee shops that, you know, I, I wasn't a huge fan of. And I was honest about it. If the coffee's not good, I'm going to let you know, hey, the coffee's not good, the ambiance is amazing, or, or their pastry selection, if you're into that type of thing, is amazing. 
but the coffee itself is terrible. So we're gonna go to Southern Grounds and I'm going to give them the whole, the whole ringer. I'm gonna give them the, the once over. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, oh crap, that's a big storm cloud. I'm gonna give them a nice honest review because you guys are my priority. I do not care about them as an individual. I hope that they succeed in life, but I care about you guys and, and what you guys get from this. And what you get from this is pure entertainment! Are you not entertained? The location of downtown St. Cloud is actually growing quite a bit. It used to be very small and there was nothing here, but now they have little things popping up like this. I mean, look at that. That's so cute. And that little tiny restaurant right there. And yeah, you got some cool stuff popping up. This guy's modding out Subarus, all sorts of stuff. You got abandoned buildings that we can go inside of and live hang out in there. Well, people that recommended this place said it's really cool because it's locally owned and I find that very interesting. I love that. I love locally owned stuff. If you can buy local, it's always better. A big thing that I've been trying to not do, and I know, I know you guys probably don't care about this, but I care because I have an audience in which I can speak to and I think that it is my social responsibility to speak the truth. I think buying things off Amazon and, you know, just, just buying things off of like big, huge companies and stores like that, Quite literally, you're voting with your dollar. So I choose to vote local. I choose to vote for the smaller things. And while it may cost me a couple more dollars sometimes and maybe not be exactly what I wanted, well, I just know not to go there for that specific thing anymore. And also, $2 means very little to me, but it means the world to these businesses. And so I will I will continue to support small businesses in the hopes that uh, they grow. It's on the corner of 10th and Florida. I will see you guys inside. They didn't have cold brew. This is regular iced coffee, and it tastes like uh, brewed. Not bad, not good, but not bad. I would say, and I'll elaborate on the bike, this is okay. I wanna come here when there's like cold brew, and maybe I'll like have a better thing to say, but right now, um, I'm looking at like a, like a two. <laughs> So first impressions on the coffee, it was not good. Now I didn't have the cold brew, which is what I really wanted. How do I uh, get home from here? They close at four, which is good for them, bad for customers. There wasn't a lot of seating space inside and their coffee was not good. So if the owner of Southern Ground sees this and wants to redeem that, uh, they could make cold brew probably for me. <laughs> they have a lot of merch inside. Like they got a lot of stuff. So I think that the coffee shop itself is not the attraction. Everybody go, everybody go. I think the coffee is like the least of their like priorities there. I think that the salon is probably their main priority. And then the gift shop that's in the coffee shop is probably like their second priority. But I think the least of their priorities is the coffee, which is not good for a coffee shop. So one through five, how was the coffee? Like a one. That's terrible, I know. And like I, I've been really reluctant to grade coffee shops like extremely harshly but i don't even have to grade it harshly to realize that almost five dollars i tipped one dollar but four dollars for a, a cup of coffee that's just been like cooled down is not worth it have you guys ever had sparkling water when when you drink sparkling water you're not drinking like like if it's orange you're not drinking orange soda you're drinking like the essence of orange well that's kind of how this coffee was it was like drinking the essence of coffee and the thing that's most annoying is that there's not even like a seating place in there it is but everything's really tight like all the seating arrangements are like made to prompt you out the door so while i'm not blaming them for having like a huge cafe because of their limited space and their salon is probably their biggest priority it is a little bit annoying and like outside seating is nice yes but it's freaking 90 degrees outside and so nobody wants to sit out there i'm sure during winter that'll be a nice little spot to sit at but it probably won't be going back unfortunately that coffee was not good if you guys want me to go back and try their cold brew i will because i like i like the small i, lo I love the small stuff i love the small shops i love the small coffee places i love them but this is a but this is a fantastic example of why i started doing this and it's because there are really good coffee shops and then there are coffee shops that look like they're going to be really good and they're just not they're, they're just they just don't cut it they're not very good okay buddy okay there buddy like if your day was like running behind you could get like your haircut and a coffee at the same time you know I, maybe, maybe there is a point to this maybe there's a method to their madness that i just don't understand 
either way guys i appreciate you sticking around this long i appreciate you guys being patient with the tuner and the whole build i think it's insane that we're approaching 900 subscribers this is all you guys so thank you so much for subscribing thank you for keeping up on my content I just realized that we made it the whole way there with no rain i mean it's right there it's about to hit us but no rain and we made it there on time i'm really proud of us you know we were kind of on time Tardy productions wasn't late I'm late on the videos, but I'm not late on anything else. Park up here and do the outro for you guys. Either way, guys, until next week, be kind, be brave, and just do more with your life. I'm Aaron. This is Tardy Productions. See you guys next week. I really, really wish that I could talk with you guys actively while I'm writing. It would be freaking hilarious. Can you... All the people who view the videos just actively speaking to me while I'm writing. <laughs> It'd be like that scene on Bruce Almighty when he's like uh, hearing all the prayers of everybody.